Hey, how's it going? Uh, I'm just going to show you a track by Radiohead today called Body Snatchers from In Rainbows. Um, really cool track. A couple of guitar parts, so there's the main rhythm part, and then there's um, a few lead lines. I'm not sure who plays them or if it's second or third guitar, but I've just done um, lead lines for the sort of second half of the tutorial. Um, so in drop D tuning, so that's D and then standard A, D, G, B, E. And yeah, a few sections to this song. Um, so there's like a verse A and a verse B. There's part that I've called a bridge, then sort of an alternate bridge, or just like a different section at the end of the bridge. And then there's the outro. Um, so I'll play each part, talk through it, and yeah, we'll get into it. So the first riff for, for verse A. Um, so all on these low few strings. So we've got the open D ringing um, for all of these. So we're going to be playing open D with 9 on the 5th string, then 10, then 12. And these are all up strokes as well. And then we've got 10, 12 on the low 3 strings. And 10, 12. 10, 12. Um, so the first bit of this riff. Um, then the second half of this riff, it's 9, 10, 15 on the um, on the fifth string, keeping that that low string played. Then the same little run up. And then 9, 10, 14. And then back to the top of the riff. So that's yeah the main main riff for guitar one for verse A. Um, then just after a minute in the track, um, verse B sort of comes in, um, which is this. to verse A there. Um, so it starts off with some octaves here. So on the fifth string, uh, seventh fret, and ninth fret on the third string. Then you move that over a fret, so you've got eight and ten. Move that over two frets, so you've got ten and twelve. And then we just go uh, seven, eight, seven, eight, seven, eight, 7, 8, 7, 8 on the low three strings. So you play that twice like that. And then we've got octaves. Um, so same first octave. So you've got 7 on the fifth string, 9 on the third string. Move that down four frets, so you've got three and five, and then five and seven. And you've just got a low, open sixth string. Um, so yeah, just repeat that. Um, so that's, that's verse B. Um, then we've got the bridge that comes in at about two minutes, seven seconds, um, which is this. And then repeat. 
Um, so we're going to be playing the sixth and the third string and muting the two strings in between, so the, the fifth and the fourth strings. Um, so third finger, fifth fret, and then first finger, third fret on the third string. That was on the sixth string, by the way, for the, your third finger. That's the first chord. Move the same shape up. So you've got 12 on the, the low string and 10 on the third string. Then you've got 10 on the sixth string and 10 on the third string. So that's three on the 10th fret and then sort of one on the ninth fret on the third string there. Back to the first shape. Move it over two frets so you've got seven and five. And then back uh, to your first shape. And then you repeat that. So then we've got the alternate bridge, or what happens right at the end of the bridge to transition into the outro. This happens at about 2 minutes 53 in the track, and is this. Um, so we've got, again similar to the bridge, we've got playing the 6th string and the 3rd string and muting the 2 in between. So you've got 3rd fret on the low string and 2nd fret on the 3rd string to start. And then 5 on the low string, 3 on the 3rd string. Then you've got this one which is a bit trickier because um, you're mu muting three strings in the middle. So you've got first fret on the low string and third fret on the second string. Um, so, so far you've got... Then the fourth uh, little chord here is third fret on the fifth string and second fret on the third. Then five on the low string, three on the third string. Then that trickier shape. So you've got one on the low string, three on the second string. So, so far, all up you've got. Then we move over to six on the low string and five on the third string. And then just move that down a fret so you've got five on the low string and four on the third string. And sort of play this until um, the outro starts. So again, all up, I'll play the this alternate bridge. So that's the alternate bridge. And then we've got the outro, which is this. So on the 6th string, play that twice, 3rd fret, then you've got open 3 on the 5th string, and then 2 open on the 4th string. So 
you play that four times. And then... This bit, which is just third fret on the fifth string and also on the second string. And then just move that lower string back a fret. So you've got two on the fifth and keeping that third fret on the second string. And again, we're muting the two strings in between. So your third and fourth strings. And then you get back to the top of the riff. Like that. Um, and the strumming in this song is really important. Um, gives a lot of the rhythm and the drive. So if you can get the... Um, just get that nice and solid. That'll go a long way to helping you um, playing this first guitar part. Um, so yeah, that's all the parts for guitar one. So sort of the main guitar. Then we just got uh, rhythm parts to come. Um, quite a bit of this is um, rhythmic. So in a couple of live clips I've seen, one of the Ed O'Brien is often just just sort of like making rhythmic sort of chugs along um, with a bit of delay or something. Um, so a couple of the first notes that you can sort of make out um, comes in, I think, over the alternate verse. So over the... Over that bit. Um, and you can either use um, a pick with just like a lot of reverb to get the notes ringing out or just a way to, to do it, you can use a slide and if you've got an Ebo, um, you can use one of them which is very handy, it just sustains the note if you don't know what an Ebo is, you can check it out um, so yeah, this there's sort of two melody lines that go over the top of each other here So that's the first one. So that's just on the D string, the fourth string, 15, 14, 12, and then repeating. And then the other one that goes over the top of that, uh, all on the first string, 18, 15, 17. without that squeaky note at the end there. Um, so yeah, you can either get that um, by yeah, using a lot of reverb, um, just something to sustain the note for quite a while. Um, so then at a minute 20, we've got this part in the second guitar. So we've got the same sort of riff repeating here on all on the fifth string. Going seven, three, five, and then we're doing the octave uh, with a bend. So seventh fret on the third string. It's a quick bend. Whoop. You kind of want to bend it up to the pitch of the ninth fret. So I think it does this six times, and then it just changes the sort of bass notes. So it goes seven, three, and then seven on the low string. Still with the... Then playing the seven on the low string. And then it 
it goes fifth string two, and then on the sixth string five two. Still with that bend, and then returning to the second fret on the low string. Uh, and that's that's that section. Um, yeah, then there's some more of these higher sustained notes. So again, you can either uh, use a pick with lots of reverb. Um, because we've got an Ebo, I'll just use this. Um, so this comes in at 2 minutes 7, so over the bridge section. So that's sort of what it sounds like, and it's just between the 14 on the third string, sorry. It goes 14, and then 10, 12, 14, and it does a little bend on the 14. And then back to 12, oh, sorry, 10. And then you repeat. So that goes for pretty much the majority of the bridge. Uh, then the final part for this second guitar um, is this. Yeah, so it's just a lead line over this alternate bridge section that happens at 2 minutes 53. Um, so all upstrokes and all on the third fret. Oh, sorry, third string. So starting second fret. Then we've got that bend that we do. Two of them on the seventh fret. Then third fret. Then the bend, so you've got then second fret with the bend, third fret again with the bend, then fifth fret with the bend, and then the fourth fret. So, so far you've got, whoops, sorry. Then you can throw in um, the octaves from that first guitar part in the alternate bridge. So that's just 7, 9, 8, 10, 10, 12, all on the fifth and third strings. Then go back to sitting on that fourth fret on the third string. And then to finish off, which is the octaves um, that we've learned before. So seven on the fifth string, nine on the third, same strings, three and five, and then five and seven. And then that's when the outro comes in. Um, there's some guitar over the top of the outro uh, in terms of a lead, um, but it's, it's pretty scattered. So you can just sort of chuck a few notes in, do a little bit of a solo or something, if you like. Um, but yeah, that's all the parts to this song. Um, thanks so much for listening. I hope you enjoyed playing a bit of Radiohead. And yeah, if you like it, you can subscribe. Um, if you've got any questions, just leave them below and I'll try answer them for you. If not, um, thanks again for watching and I'll catch you in the next video. Cheers.